The Cleveland Cavaliers are interested in Jay Crowder. You guys want to hear the irony in that? If you guys are new to basketball, I've been watching basketball at the NBA for 15 years now. And look, he played in 2017 with the Cavs. And let's just say it was not the most eventful as he ended up in Utah. And like, I, don't, I think he kind of had his coming out with the Celtics, but then Cavaliers, he just... People forget all about that, and but the, either way, him coming back to the Cavs would be awesome because they need him. Even though I love Dean Wayne and Isaac Okoro, the Cavaliers are interested in trading for Jay Crowder, who has been on the block by the Suns after he requested a trade because he was told he's not going to be a starter. The Cavs need a 3 and D wing that can guard small forwards and power forwards in a multitude of positions. The four Cleveland starters are set with Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, Jared Allen, and Evan Mobley on the lineup, but they need a small forward. As it's a question mark. We knew the Boston Celtics, Memphis Grizzlies, and Dallas Mavericks and Miami Heat were all interested in Jay Crowder. But Jay Crowder is a guy who's making about a little under $10 million, about $9 million. And if you look at the current Cavaliers roster, how could they get themselves this man, Jay Crowder, who's a former teammate of Donovan Mitchell? nine million dollars well somebody would be like well what if they packaged landry, landry shamit and jay crowder for karis levert or jay crowder and cameron payne for karis levert now i doubt that would be the deal that they would want to do i mean that's something eh, i don't really see happening now a deal that i could see happening is jetty osman jetty osman all right and maybe maybe Dylan Windler, Jetty Osmond and Dylan Windler, and maybe you throw in. I don't know if a, a first round pick is too. You're asking for too much then for Jay Crowder. I think maybe you ask for Dylan Windler, Jetty Osmond, and a second round pick or two, or maybe. Jetty Osmond and Lamar Stevens in a second round pick or two. I just, I think Lamar Stevens and Jetty Osmond combined is like the perfect salaries for a deal for Jay Crowder. But I, I would assume that the Cavaliers would rather trade Dylan Windler and Jetty Osmond because they actually value, you know, Lamar Stevens. So I, I do think the whole situation is like kind of not, not weird per se, but it's definitely an odd one because what is going on here i want to i do think like jay crowder is a great player and he's a guy who deserves to be on an nba team like jay crowder i said this on our nba daily nba show link in the description that jay crowder is a guy that every single nba team should be picking up the phone right now and inquiring on how to get the, him on their team that's how good of a player he is and that's how fantastic i think he's the type of guy that you need on your roster look like why pj tucker at like 38 years old just got signed for what 30 million dollars at four like he's gonna be 40 when that contract ends and they were going out of their way to sign him there's a reason for that these type of players are in demand. I mean, Antonio Gaines would have been a first round pick if he came into the NBA now. If you don't believe that, you're lying. You're lying, okay? The These guys, you know, Chuck Hayes. I don't know if Chuck Hayes would have success today, but this is, there's, a, there's a place and Jay Crowder's in hot demand, rightfully so. And that's where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think of Jay Crowder? Is he worth a first round pick? What would your trade if the Cleveland Cavaliers? Because I do think it's interesting as all hell. And I hate putting value on guys. I don't think anyone should be, you know, having a value put on them. So I think it's definitely interesting. Shout out Joe Varden for this information. But I am curious to hear what you think. Do you think the Dallas Mavericks or the Toronto Raptors? or the Miami Heat, or the Boston Celtics, or the Grizzlies are going to make a move for him. Who's going to get the Jack Crowder sweepstakes? We'll find out soon. But, yeah, it'll definitely be an interesting one. 
Dude, I got a terrible cough and it hurts. 